Hey, weather, always good to catch up with you. So you was in D.C., your fighter Demarcus Corley, but also you was, um, you know, a little bit of brought Roger with you, got some love from the city. Tell me about your weekend. Well, we, had a, we had a great weekend. That was my first time ever being in D.C. Um, people showed us, you know, they showed us tremendous love. You know, signed, you know, so many autographs and, you know, took pictures of the countless people, so. I mean, it, it was fun, and, and the fighters, the older fighters, we went to the award ceremony where they were, you know, um, giving awards to, you know, all the champions and, and contenders, you know, in, um, in, in D.C. Because at one point in time, they were, you know, they were really a hotbed. They had Jaffe, they had Keith Holmes, they had uh, Joe Coley, yeah. uh, Mark Two Sharp Johnson. Right. You know, and at at one point in time, all these guys were world champion at the same time. So, I mean, that was a big deal. Gotcha. <laughs> now, when you went to the city, it was your first experience. How was it different of a city than you experienced the world? Well, I mean, far as the far as the city itself, I mean, it was really wasn't that much different. But we were downtown, and I never seen so many big, big buildings. You know, and um, so I was in a, I was in a great area, as opposed to you know I mean I know that I didn't get a chance to even see you know um, an area in which there was actually like really homes. It was just nothing but you know big big skyscrapers. You know, so but I mean it was, it was real nice. The people was nice, like I said, and they showed us love. So you know it was a great experience. And what about the awards ceremony? What was that for exactly? Well, that was actually for um, the fighters that you know. That basically that became champion and top contenders. Like um, like I said, the, the names that I mentioned and also um, Bill Tyson as well. So I had, I, I'm not sure exactly how many because actually we missed the flight going there, but we were still able to make it to that event. Okay. Well, how about Roger? Does he still like appreciate all the love he gets from fans and everything? Oh yeah, I mean, the people they love Roger because I mean Roger, you know, he, he's always making jokes. You know, and um, even when he, even when he, you know, he had to, um, you know, cause I had to, get, I had to give a little speech, and he had to give a little speech, and um, it basically it was, it was very funny because he was just like, ah, uh, ah, uh, everybody was like waiting for him really say something, and then he finally started saying something, and then the people loved it, cause yeah. you know, like I said, Rod, right, she's always you know trying to have fun. It's kind of like myself too. Corley got another win. Um, what's it like working with him, and what are you guys trying to accomplish? Well, I mean, of course, we're going to give at least one more shot at the world title. I mean, he's, he's in a weight class that he probably should have been all this time. I mean, the guy can make 130 pounds if he wants to. You know, he weighed in for this fight at 132, and um, and he still got it. You know, he's not an old he's not an old guy that's you know that's um, that, you know just fighting because he needs some money. He's an old guy that can fight still, you know, and, he, and probably can still win a world title against, even, you know, I mean, at lightweight, you know, you have, of course, now you have Mickey Bay, you have um, Terrence Crawford, you have Richard um, Abreu. Okay, I don't know who that is, but yeah. you know, but anyway, you got, you got all those guys, and I mean, and to be honest, I would give him a shot against either one of them, even Terrence Crawford.